Okay, so this is the sock will, will represent the esophagus, and it's gonna we're gonna put the we're gonna put the food, which is the sharpener, in here, and I'm gonna show you how with peristalsis it moves from uh, this end to the stomach. So let's pretend this erase this uh, sharpener is food. And as I said before, gravity won't help. You can see it here. So if I if I hold the tip of the esophagus. And, um, and the esophagus is quite tight, so the food won't just drop by itself, by gravity. So there needs to be this movement. And so I'll show you what this movement is. So there's two muscle layers, right? So the circular one is going to be orientated like this. So it's going to go all around the esophagus. It's kind of going to surround the esophagus like this. And it's going to be all the, all the different sections. So here, 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 all the way through. But only certain sections contract um, at a certain time. The other muscle, which is a longitudinal muscle, is orientated perpendicularly, which means it's the exact opposite. So um, it's, it's the outer layer, so it's above the circular muscle, and it's orientated like that. So this means when the longitudinal one contracts, it will get shorter like this, and when the circular one contracts, it will get smaller like this. Okay, so let me show you now without these. So the circular one is going to contract first, so it's going to contract and see what it does. Now the food moved slightly forward, but what's happening is the circular muscle is preventing the, the food itself from going backwards, so back out your mouth. So this is very important. And now, uh, secondly, the longitudinal muscle, so this one, will contract longitudinally, so instead of going like this, like the circular one, it's going to go like this. And you can see by contracting like this, it moves the food slightly forward. And now it's going to keep moving on. So now the circular one, one will contract again, and the longitudinal one will move it forward. Circular one will contract again, the longitudinal one will move it forward. Circular contract again, forward. Again, forward. Again, until it reaches the stomach. So you can see there's th these two muscles contract at different times, but as they work together, they move the food forward in the best possible way.